I'm Dr. Florida Rahman from Dhaka Medical College, Bangladesh. I am an infertility specialist and also assistant professor in the department of OB GYN in Dhaka Medical College. Dhaka Medical College uh, is the largest medical college and the tertiary care hospital in Bangladesh. And I have worked here uh, for four years. Uh, since my the early days, I have also taken my uh, PG training from here. And I wish to be a uh, infertility specialist uh, from my very beginning of my OBGYN career. I have completed my uh, diploma in OBGYN in 2001 and uh, FCPS uh, in OBGYN in 2004. And I have also completed my MS from Dhaka University from Bardem Academy in 2011. I am really excited to be here in IIRRH India, which is the leading, uh, one of the leading uh, infertility uh, center and also a training institute for ART, uh, which was uh, sponsored by Mark Foundation, which is Mark uh, more than a mother. Uh, I get opportunity to get here uh, by this Mark Foundation and I am very much thankful to them for uh, this training uh, which they provide to me and also to this institution. It is an excellent institution for teaching and learning. I am really happy to be a part of Mark Fertility Training Program which is a part of the global initiative of Mark, Mark more than a mother. There is the uh, collaboration of Dhaka Medical College, which is my institute with Mark Foundation. And under that collaboration, I am here for training in infertility. In Bangladesh, scope of fertility treatment is increasing day by day, and the people are becoming more aware. But there are some challenges. Males are not available, who are responsible for about 30% causes of infertility even they cannot come to doctor and semen analysis is one of the most primary uh, investigation which you need for uh, infertility treatment they can they don't want to do that it's one and another all the time the females are blamed for the infertility so uh, there is a social dogma some rituals some prejudice we have to overcome that and uh, thirdly, uh, there are some limitations for ART treatment. It's expensive and not affordable for all the people like who are from low socioeconomic con uh, community. That's why we can't do all the treatment up to the end uh, to give a healthy baby uh, to the people for their uh, poverty or like that. And another thing, in some cases, there are uh, some uh, donor program needed uh, like hypogonadrophic hypogonadism or primary ovarian failure where we can do any ART without the donor program. Uh, ART centers have been established since 20 years in Bangladesh but uh, there are about 15 infertility specialists which are currently uh, treating or who have centers and about the uh, 11 centers in Bangladesh. Most of them are in Dhaka. And only two centers are outside of Dhaka. In Chittagong, there are two centers. And uh, there are so many IUI centers all over the country. Um, but exact number of the IUI center, I cannot mention. And there are, uh, as I say, infertility specialists are 15 and uh, embryologists who are trained or who have postgraduate degree they are five in number and uh, many of the persons they have uh, a short course of in, uh, embryology training for infertility couple we have uh, all the options of infertility training starting from primary infertility care which can be done by ovulation induction drugs or by some advice. Then secondary level, like main, there are many IUI centers and tertiary care, uh, that is the 
Infertility Center, IVF Center. There are 11 IVF centers which is established in private sector. But in government sector, there are no IVF center. Recently, in our institution, Dhaka Medical College, uh, one center is going to be established and all the procedures have already done. And uh, we'll do the IVF and ICS there. Bangladesh is a developing country, not yet developed. So, and it is also a, a poor country. Uh, so our resources are limited. Mark, mark in fertility training can uh, uh, enhance our training program so that I can serve our country in a better way. We can serve the poor people uh, with uh, less expense. And uh, they also try to uh, focus our uh, underprivileged uh, um, infertile couples. Uh, they can uh, uh, also uh, mark fertility program is important for making the um, embryology personnel. We have crisis. In our country, the female are dominated by males and there are, they uh, become victim of uh, social stigma. So, uh, uh, if a couple remains infertile, then it's the common tendency to blame the female only. And uh, as a result, they uh, become uh, deprived from their rights. The female become victim of violence, uh, social harassment, and as a result, there um, occurs multiple marriage to men, uh, and then divorce can happen and even they may lead to suicide. In our country, awareness about the male infertility is a little bit less. Uh, first of all, uh, it's a male dominating society. So the uh, male, they usually don't go to doctor for their infertility and for their workup. They always blame their female partner for that problem. And secondly, if they don't want to do even the semen analysis, which is the primary infertility workup for a male. Thirdly, if, if they do the uh, uh, semen analysis, they can uh, accept it if the report is bad. So uh, the problem is uh, everywhere they don't go to the doctor they don't consult, they don't want to explore their problems and uh, if it is the, uh, exposed to the doctor then they don't want to show it otherwise or go for further treatment as it is treated as the people will uh, look to them as they are important so they, are, they try to conceal and hide the cause and also they uh, don't take the actual treatment before coming to this uh, institution, I have some expectation to enhance my knowledge and experience in the field of ERT and uh, to uh, improve myself or to uh, become enough, uh, com uh, to become competent enough to do uh, infertility, especially the ERT training by my own. So, uh, and I also had a wish to see the ad recent advancement in ART. And uh, I should say, the, uh, it's uh, made up partially. Uh, because here, the basic uh, knowledge portion uh, was very strong. Uh, it was well organized, structured and it encompasses all the uh, topics of ART. Even the, uh, it includes the lab setting. And uh, in practical session, I, uh, I have learned a lot, uh, starting from the TVS scan, uh, uh, folliculometry, and the uh, 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 
previous scan for uh, uh, endometrial and early pregnancy scanning, uh, uh, monitoring of the patient uh, uh, we, who is undergoing treatment for infertility, uh, I should say the uh, ART. And uh, then the, uh, in OT, OPU means the uh, ovum pickup. Even I did, uh, did me a chance of um, doing uh, embryo transfer. So uh, it's partially met, but there is a limitation in endoscopy training. And uh, also there are some um, uh, gap between the consultant and the training. It should be started from the basic, uh, basic learning. That is the ovarian stimulation protocol, then the follicle uh, uh, monitoring of the ART cycles, uh, TVS scan, the endocrinology related to infertility, main, male infertility, the ART establishment of ART center, the embryology center, the embryology preparation medium, uh, knowledge regarding the uh, uh, machine equipments, its maintenance, and then in OT, um, uh, ovum pickup and embryo transfer. Um, these all are uh, 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 new. The practical session is new for me. I have some I basic knowledge. Uh, it was uh, enriched. My advice to new aspirants that they must be motivated to do infertility training and uh, uh, they must keep patience and have a desire for infertility and uh, to uh, uh, continue this uh, training uh, training and then uh, it should be reflected in their practical life so uh, later on and second thing i have uh, I have uh, observed here some of the people who are come from uh, non-English speaking countries they have much difficulties so they if they want to come from a non-English non speaking country they uh, should learn English first then uh, should, should come here and another thing uh, TBS scan is very much important here so one should learn the basics of TBS can at first then come here and at last try to learn more as much as you can and try to retain it within it and after going to your country in your society uh, you have a wish to spread your knowledge and experience to your society so that it can help your people. I have come from Bangladesh, which is an overpopulated country, and uh, and I work in Dhaka Medical College, uh, which is the tertiary care hospital, and all uh, um, and overburdened with all the critical care patients. Here to establish an infertility center is a challenge. So um, we. Uh, facing this challenge we are going to start a infertility um, IVF center and I will work there I will try to do my best uh, in that center for uh, serving the um, underprivileged people if our in our country and later on I can start my own center I must be uh, very much thankful to Mark Foundation for selecting me uh, to get me this um, opportunity to get entry in this institute like IIRRH which is led by uh, Dr. Professor Kamini, uh, Kamini Rao. I think it's an excellent center for um, teaching and learning and uh, uh, Mark Foundation it's it was possible my dream came true due to the mark foundation's um, contributions so that i'm i will be always thankful to them bangladesh <laughs>